shoot me a text and I'll turn it off, but I'm just going to let it play for now um, and see how it goes. So, yeah. Um, so we're going to do everybody's favorite core <laughs> today. Um, and uh, it's going to be, I'll provide some like up levels, down levels, that sort of thing. Um, if at any point you feel like um, it's like, you know, you need a rest, please take a break. Um, it's not, it's going to be mostly uh, focused on building core stability and it's not just abs, it's your back as well. So core is your entire torso, right? So we're working on um, strengthening and building foundational stability, mountain climber-esque sort of maneuvers. Um, but uh, I would grab some water, grab a towel if you start to sweat. Um, and then you'll also need um, maybe some pillows, like two firm pillows to sit on. Um, and then perhaps something that emulates a yoga block. Maybe it's a um, foam roller, that could work. Um, but that should be it for props. So we'll get started in a minute. Okay. So again, if anyone is on that has my phone number and the music becomes too distracting or loud and calm and sort of start to clear out some of the stuff that we're bringing to the practice um, that we're bringing to our mouth. So let's go ahead and close our eyes. And we're just going to start to pay attention to our breath. And not necessarily um, deepening the breath yet, just starting to pay attention to it. And if there's anything in your body that feels particularly tight or sore or maybe open today, just taking a mental note of that as well. If you have any injuries or pain, please back off. But uncomfortability is not so bad. <laughs> Oftentimes we get our, we grow the most when we're in those comforts or when we're out of our comfort zones, excuse me. And now's a good time to start to deepen the breath. Maybe taking and seeing if you can match the length of the inhales to the length of the exhales. And seeing if you can make the breath just a little bit deeper and a little bit longer. Hold at the bottom of that exhale. And then when you're ready, inhaling to the count of five. Holding at the top. And then exhaling to five. Let's take one deep breath together through the nose. Let's inhale one, two, three, four, five. Maybe you suck in a little bit more air. And maybe just a little bit more air. And hold here. And then a big open mouth exhale. Let's do one more of those deep cleansing breaths. So inhale one, two, three, four, and five. Maybe suck in a little bit more. And a little bit more air. And then a big open mouth exhale. We're going to take a few seated cat cows. So on your inhale breath, we're going to pull our chest through our shoulders using our hands and our kneecaps. Pull your chest through your shoulders and then look up to the ceiling, arching the low back. And then on the exhale, we're going to curl in, round the back, pull our shoulder the tips of our shoulders together and tuck our chin into our chest. Inhale, pull your chest through your shoulders, look up, and then exhale, round and curl. Inhale, pull through, look up, and exhale, round and curl. 
sorry. <laughs> One more time, inhale through the chest and up it to the ceiling. And then exhale, round and curl. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine, a straight long spine. And then we're gonna take our right hand to our left knee. We're gonna reach our left arm up to the sky. I'm sorry, wait. We're taking our <laughs> left hand to our right knee, reaching our right arm up to the sky, and then placing it on the floor behind us, turning our shoulders to face the left side, right side of the room. Take an inhale breath, like somebody has a, a string attached to the crown of your head, lift your crown of your head even higher to the sky. And then as you exhale, maybe you find a little bit more of that twist. Inhale to find length in the spine. And then exhale, twist a little bit deeper. One more time, inhale, find length. And then exhale, twist. Inhale, slowly unwind back to center. And as you inhale, take your <laughs> right hand to your left knee, I'm doing this opposite. And then your left hand behind you, facing your shoulders to the left side of the room. Take an inhale breath, find length, like somebody has that string attached to your head and pulling you up in space, find length in the spine. And then when you exhale, find a little bit more of that twist. Inhale, find length, and exhale, twist. Inhale, find length, and exhale, twist. One more breath here, inhale. And then exhale, start to return to center very, very slowly. We're gonna come off whatever you're sitting on and we're gonna find tabletop pose. So we're stacking our shoulders right over our wrists and our hips right over our knees. And then we're gonna tuck our back toes and just sit back onto your heels. Not all the way back because we're still putting a little bit of um, weight onto our palms. And we're gonna turn our palms out to face the side. So our fingertips are facing the side of our mat. We're just doing a little bit of wrist warm up and a little bit of toe warm up here. So take an inhale breath here and exhale out. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. If you feel like you can go a little bit further, we're gonna totally flip our palms so that our fingertips are facing our knees. And you can come ease back up off of your heels here to get there. So my fingertips, my palms are facing flat onto the mat and my fingertips are facing my knees. And then in time, I can start to sink my hips back. But if this is too tight, if this is enough for you, I would stay right here. If you feel like you can stretch them out a little bit further, then start to sink back on your heels. So take deep breaths in through the nose and out the nose. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. And then we're gonna release that, um, that direction of the palms. And then this time, um, we're gonna sit back on our heels again, and then flip your palms, flip your hands so that the tops of your hands are on the mat. And then you can kind of, um, I, I actually am taking all of my weight off of my hands to start, and I'm just gently placing the weight here. So I'm still on my toes, but this is actually an exercise in core work as well. <laughs> so you're using your core to sort of balance out the weight from your wrists. Take one more deep breath here. And then exhale, release. Both your toes um, or your the tops of your feet are flat on the mat. Reach your right arm forward like someone's shaking your hand out in front of you. And then start to reach your left leg back. Flex the, um, the left foot. Drop that left hip so that it's in line with your right hip. So you have like a neutral flat spine and press firmly into that left palm. Spread the fingertips as wide as you possibly can and root down into the, sh the right shin and the top of the right foot. Pull the low belly in, draw the ribs together and reach in opposite directions. Take three deep breaths here. Inhale one, exhale, inhale two, exhale. Last breath here, inhale three, 
And then exhale, release. This time we're taking our left arm forward in space, like someone's shaking your hand out in front of you, and then reach your right leg back. So same concept here. I want you to check in with that right hip. Make sure that it's in line with the left. Flex the, le uh, the right foot. Pull the low belly in. Draw the ribs together. Pop the upper back up and press firmly into the right hand, the left shin, and the top of the left foot. Take three deep breaths here. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Last breath. And then exhale, release. We're gonna tuck our back toes underneath. And here's where it really the core uh, really starts. So we're gonna lift our knees an inch or two off of the ground. Press firmly into the palms of the hands and actually wiggle your um, toes back so that your hips are right over your knees if they shifted forward at all. Puff up the upper back like you're in plank pose. Take three rounds of breath here. Inhale one and exhale. Start to feel the heat build in your body, exhale. Last breath, inhale, and then exhale, find downward facing dog. So pressing your heels back, or pressing your hips up in space. Maybe adjust your stance a little bit, so walk your feet or your hands out a little bit farther in front of you. Take your um, feet, hips width distance apart. Press firmly into the palms of your hands, spread the fingertips wide, and lift up and out of the shoulders. Lift up and out of the wrists. Take your hips high to the sky. And then take a soft bend in those knees. You don't want to lock out the knees here. And then reach the heels down towards the mat. Roll the triceps in towards the center of the body. And then roll the biceps up towards the sky. So we're sort of twisting our, arm, our arms up and out and away. Take an inhale breath. And then exhale, shift forward into full high plank. You might need to adjust again, shifting your um, heels back a little bit. So I want your shoulders right over your wrists. Take an inhale breath. And then exhale, we're gonna lower onto our forearms. So make the number 11 with your forearms. We're in a low forearm plank here. Take three rounds of breath here, inhale one. Exhale, drop your hips a little bit lower, take your tailbone to your heels, exhale. Inhale three. And then exhale, lower your hips all the way down to the mat. Release the back toes, and then take your um, your palms to your rib cage. Rest your forehead on the mat for just a moment. Take an inhale breath. Exhale everything out. Inhale, we're coming into low cobra. So lift the chest and the shoulders off of the mat using the strength of your low back. Press your pubic bone into the mat and the tops of your feet into the mat. Roll your pinky toes down towards the mat as well. Find a little bit of lightness in the palms. Pinch the shoulder blades together and look about six inches in front of you. Take three deep breaths here, inhale one, exhale out, inhale two, exhale. Last breath, see so if you can get a little bit higher, inhale, and then exhale, release your forehead down towards the mat, tuck your back toes, either press back up into plank pose and then downward facing dog, or come to tabletop first and then downward facing dog. I'm gonna go straight into plank, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath here, inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two. And exhale. Inhale three. Exhale, shift forward into plank pose. Stack your shoulders right over your wrists. Drop the hips low, take the tailbone down towards your heels. Pull the low belly in, draw the ribs together. Take an inhale breath. And exhale, come down to your forearms for forearm plank. Make the number 11 with your um, forearms. Drop your hips low. Take three rounds of breath. Inhale, one. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> exhale. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Inhale. And then exhale, release your hips down towards the mat. Untuck your back toes. We're taking our palms to our rib cage. Lower the forehead down towards the mat. Take an inhale breath. Exhale everything out. Inhale, come up into low cobra. So peeling the shoulders and the chest off of the mat, find lightness in the palms, pinch the shoulder blades together, press the pubic bone into the mat, press the tops of the feet into the mat. Take three deep breaths, inhale one, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. 
last breath, inhale. And then exhale, release your forehead down towards the mat, tuck your back toes, and then make your way into downward facing dog, however you want to get there. I know. <laughs> she's, she's so funny. <laughs> she's just, my is licking our faces right now. Last breath here, take a big inhale. And then exhale one more time, we're gonna shift forward into plank pose. Pull the low belly and draw the ribs together. Shoulders are right over the wrists. Um, if you need to drop down to the knees, obviously. And then we're going to lower down onto our forearms. Again, you can take the knees if you need to. Find the number 11 with your elbows, with your forearms. Drop the hips low. Take the uh, tailbone down towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath. Inhale. And then exhale, drop your pelvis down towards the mat, untuck your back toes. <clears throat> We're going to take our forehead to the mat, take our hands to the, to the rib cage. Take an inhale breath. Exhale everything out. <sighs> inhale, find baby cobra, low cobra, however you want to call it. Peel the shoulders and the chest off of the mat. Maybe this time you get a little bit higher. Inhale, two. And exhale. Inhale, three. And exhale, take your forehead to the mat, tuck your back toes, make your way back to downward facing dog. <laughs> Three breaths here. If you need to release a little bit of that heat, I recommend breathing out through the mouth. Did my music stop? <laughs> and then drop the knees down to the mat, take your knees wider than your hips, almost maybe to the edge of your mat. Take your toes together, sit back on your heels, walk your hands out, find child's pose, taking the forehead to the mat or to a block. Reconnecting with the breath. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, slowly start to rise back to tabletop, tuck the back toes, lift the heels, downward facing down. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, slowly start to walk your feet towards the front of your mat to meet your hands. Take your uh, feet about hips width distance apart. On the inhale breath, we're gonna rise halfway. So we're gonna place our uh, palms on our shins and find a long flat spine. So we're not coming all the way up, we're not rounding like this. I want you to come to a place where you can rest your palms on your legs, not on your knees, but somewhere on your legs where you can find a long spine. And then exhale, fold. Grab opposite elbows, bend generously into the knees so that you can rest your rib cage onto your thighs. And then maybe you sway back and forth, side to side, find that ragdoll. Take one more breath here. And exhale out. Inhale, we're rising all the way up to standing this time. The arms come overhead. And then exhale, take your hands to prayer and draw down the center of your forehead onto your face and out in front of your heart. So we're going to move through a few sun salutations and then we'll move through a standing sequence. On the inhale breath, we reach our arms up towards the sky. And on the exhale, we fold, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, finding that long, flat spine. And then exhale, fold. Step back into plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. We've been here before. Untuck your back toes. Take an inhale breath. Exhale. Inhale, come up, low cobra. Press the pubic bone down to the mat. Press the tops of the feet down to the mat. And then exhale, release your forehead down. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. And exhale. Last breath, inhale. And then exhale, walk your feet towards the front of your mat. On the inhale, we come up halfway. And on the exhale, we fold. 
Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. The arms come overhead. And then exhale, release. Your hands come through center to prayer in front of your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands onto the mat. Step back into plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, low cobra. And then exhale, release your forehead down towards the mat. Tuck your back toes. Make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, one. And exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale, make your way towards the front of your mat. Step, hop, jump, however you want to get there. Inhale, come up halfway. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. The arms come overhead. And then exhale, hand comes through prayer in front of your heart. Let's do one more of those. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the back toes, inhale, breath, baby cobra. And exhale, forehead to the mat, tuck your back toes. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, one. And exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And then as you exhale, make your way to the front of your mat. Inhale, come up halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Moving on from here, we're going to sit in the chair pose. So sink your hips low. Make sure that your knees are not over your toes. We want them further back. And reach your arms forward. You can take them out wide like a V. All the way up if, you, if your shoulders are open up. But just take them up right now. Squeeze your glutes together, squeeze your thighs together. Make sure that your toes, uh, your front toes are together and your heels are slightly apart or your stance is hips with, hips with distance apart. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, fold, your hands come to the mat. Inhale breath, come up halfway. And then exhale, plant your hands down towards the mat, step back into plank pose, lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Um, where are we going from here? On the inhale breath, we reach our right leg up towards the sky, keeping the foot flexed, keeping the right hip squared off of the left. On the exhale, we take our right knee to our right elbow. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, take your right knee to your left elbow. Cross it under. Inhale, take it back. And then exhale, take your knee into your chest. Hold here for one breath. Inhale. Exhale out. Inhale. And then exhale, place your hand, uh, or place your foot in between your hands. And then um, set, we're going to set it up for warrior one. So I would take the stand, your stance a little bit wider, like your feet are on train tracks. We're going to take our back heel and place it about at a 45 degree angle. And we're going to start to rise. For warrior one. So this back hip is slightly open. Um, our foot is about at a 45 degree angle and we're putting a lot of pressure on the outside edge of our back foot. Look down at your front knee, make sure it's right over your, uh, your ankle. And then we're reaching our arms up towards the sky. Take an inhale breath and exhale. Inhale, un or release your heel so that you're at a full high lunge. And then we're gonna start to tip forward at a 45 degree angle over our knee. So this is a lot of glute work, a lot of core work. Press firmly into the um, toe mound of your right foot. So your big toe, squeeze the right glute, and then equal weight or equal pressure into that, uh, that left leg. So yeah, I want you to really extend through that left leg. The more that you engage that left leg, the more you'll be able to balance out the weight here. Take one more inhale breath here. And then exhale, we're going to plant our hands down towards the mat, step back into plank pose, lower all the way down to our belly. Inhale, low cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. 
on the inhale breath, reach your left leg up towards the sky, keeping that hip square, your pelvis neutral. Take an inhale breath, and then exhale. Inhale one more time, and then exhale. Take your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Inhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, take it back. And then exhale, knee to chest. Hold here, inhale, breath. Exhale out. Inhale. And then exhale, step it through. We're setting up for warrior one on the other side. So maybe widening your stance just slightly. Drop the right heel down to your left, or your right foot is at a 45 degree angle. Rise for warrior one. <sighs> I'm getting a workout as well. Take an inhale breath. And then exhale, release the back heel so that you're in that high lunge position. And then start to tip forward, 45 degree angle. Most of the weight is in our front foot, but I want you to, ex to extend and engage the right leg. Take an inhale breath, pull the low belly in, exhale out, one more breath, and then exhale, release the palms to frame your front foot, step back into plank pose, lower all the way down to your belly, inhale, low cobra, and then exhale, downward facing dog. What happened to my music? Inhale breath here. And exhale out. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky. Exhale, take your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, right knee to left over, elbow, cross it over. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. And then exhale, take your knee to your chest. Hold for a moment, take an inhale breath. And then exhale, place it between your hands. We're, fine. We're setting up for warrior one, so widen the stance if you need to. Drop the left heel down, 45 degree angle on the left foot, and rise. Inhale, breath. Exhale, out. Inhale, release the back um, heel. Find that high lunge position. Start to tip forward, 45 degree angle. Pull the low belly in. Draw the ribs together. Deep breath through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, plant your hands on towards the mat. Step back into plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, low cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up toward the sky. And then exhale, take your left uh, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, twist. Inhale, take it back. And then exhale, right knee, or left knee to your chest. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. And then exhale, place it between your palms, set up for warrior one. Drop the right and heel down, find that 45 degree angle in the back foot and rise. Whew. Inhale, breath. And exhale, release the back heel, find the high lunge, then start to tip forward, 45 degree angle. More weight is in the left heel. Make sure your knee's right over your ankle. One more breath here, inhale. And then exhale, plant your hands on the mat. Step back into plank pose. Lower all the way to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. If at any point you would like to take child's pose, please do. <laughs> take a break, a break, a break. Take a breaky. Why did my music stop? In fact, let's do it now. Everybody take child's pose while I figure out this music. <laughs> Why did it stop? What happened? There we go. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna rise up to tabletop pose, tuck your back toes, lift your heels, your hips, downward facing dog. Moving on from here, we're adding a little bit onto that sequence. Take your right heel up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to left, right knee to right elbow, excuse me. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. And then exhale, take your knee to your chest. Inhale, breath here. 
And then exhale, place it between your hands. Drop that back heel down. Rise for warrior one. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, release the back heel. We're coming to that 45 degree angle. Inhale, take a breath here. Exhale. Inhale, we're opening up to warrior two. So with warrior two, I want you to have heel to arch alignment. So your front heel, your right heel is in line with your left arch, your back arch. So we're finding warrior two here. So our shoulders are facing the side of the room. Our arms are out like a T. Our um, right knee is tracking right over our right ankle. Take an inhale breath, look forward. And exhale. And now start to reach forward. And then we're taking our, um, our right elbow onto our left, or our right knee. And then reach your right arm up towards the sky, left arm up towards the sky, excuse me. <laughs> and then start to bring it forward right next to your ear. And now here's where the work is. Here's where the work in this, um, this side angle is. You can stay here if this is plenty for you. If you want to take it, give that a little bit of extra, take the right arm to meet the left out in front of you. This requires a lot of core, a lot of glute, a lot of leg. Take an inhale breath and exhale. One more breath, inhale. You got this. And then exhale, just make your way to a plank pose, windmill your arms down, step your right foot back, lower to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Inhale, take your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, twist. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest. Take an inhale breath here. And then exhale, place your uh, foot on the mat. Take that um, right heel down, set up for warrior one, and rise. Take a big inhale breath and a cleansing exhale breath. Inhale, release the back heel. Start to tip forward, find that 45 degree angle. I'm gonna turn so that you can see me. Take an inhale breath. And then exhale, we're opening up to warrior two. So find heel to arch alignment, front heel to back arch. Check down to your left knee, make sure it's right over your left ankle. Take an inhale and exhale. Start to reach your left arm forward, bringing the left uh, forearm, left elbow to the right, uh, left knee, and then reach your right arm up. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, reach your right arm right next to your ear, even farther up. Take an inhale, stay here, or if you want that little extra oomph, take your left arm forward as well. Take an inhale, exhale, inhale two, Exhale, you got this. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale, just turn to face the front of your mat. Frame your front foot with your hands, step back into plank. Lower to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Woo, there it is. <laughs> Take a big inhale breath here. Exhale, out the mouth, cleansing breath. Let's do that two more times, inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Okay, here we go. Inhale, reach your right heel to the sky. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, breath. Exhale, place it between your hands, drop the left heel back down, rise for warrior one. I am sweating. <laughs> Take an inhale. Exhale, release the heel, start to tip forward on that high lunge, 45 degree, turning around. Take one more inhale here, and then exhale, open up warrior two, side of the room. Take an inhale, look forward. Exhale out. Inhale, start to reach that right arm forward. Rest the right elbow and the right knee. Reach your left arm up and over to your ear. 
Take an inhale breath, stay here. And exhale, stay here, take it further. Reach that right arm up to meet the left. Take an inhale, exhale out. Inhale two, exhale out. <laughs> inhale three, one more breath. And then exhale, windmill your arms down to uh, frame your front foot, step back into plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, low cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, take your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right, left knee to right elbow. I'm sorry, left knee to, yeah, I said that. <laughs> to take it back, three-legged dog, sorry. And then exhale, knee to chest. Take an inhale breath. And then exhale, place it between your hands. Drop the right heel down. Come up, warrior one. Take an inhale, exhale out. Release the back heel, find the high lunge. Start to tip forward, 45 degrees. Pull the low belly in. Take an inhale breath here. And then exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale here. And exhale, start to reach your left arm forward. Find your left elbow to your left knee. Reach your right arm over and in front next to your right ear. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, stay here or start to reach that left arm up and forward. Inhale two, exhale, inhale three, and then exhale, turn to face the front of your mat, frame your front foot with your hands, step back into plank, lower all the way down to your belly, inhale, low cobra, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Was that the left foot forward? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why my music is being so goofy. We're breathing in downward facing dog. One more breath here. And exhale out. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky. We're going to add on a little bit from here. And then exhale, step it forward in between your palms. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. I totally forgot. We're taking our right elbow to our right knee. <laughs> I thought you were getting out of that one. Exhale, take it back for your legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, take it to your chest in the center. Inhale, here. And then exhale, step it between your hands. Drop the left heel down. Find warrior one. Inhale, take a breath. And exhale, release the back heel. Start to tip forward at that 45 degree angle. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, this time you can stay here or grab a book, grab a foam roller, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna find warrior three. So we're gonna shift the weight even further into our front foot and lift our left leg off of the ground. So warrior three. And I want you to be light in whatever, like your, um, your hands are on, find lightness there. So I, want, I only want you on your fingertips. Drop the left hip down so that it's flush with the right. Have a slight micro bend in that right knee. Flex the left foot and really extend through that left leg. Take one more breath here. And then very slowly, we're gonna bend into that front knee and step back into warrior two. Open up to the side of the room, beautiful. Take an inhale breath, exhale, inhale, start to reach the right arm forward, find contact from your right elbow to your right knee, reach that left arm overhead to meet the ear. Take an inhale breath, exhale, stay here or bring that right arm forward, inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth, inhale two, and exhale out. One more breath, inhale, and then exhale, windmill your arms down towards the mat. This time, this is the other add-on, we're going to roll onto the outer edge of our left foot, place our right uh, leg on top of the left, and find a side plank. So you can take your um, left knee down if this is too hard for you, or if this is too much on your wrist. Take that left um, knee down, otherwise, 
find side plank, arm overhead. Take three deep breaths, inhale one, and exhale. Inhale two, and exhale. Last breath, inhale, and then exhale. Find plank pose, lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, baby cobra, and then exhale, down or facing dog. So that's the last sort of standing sequence that we have, the last sort of add-ons. We'll go through this, let's see what time it is. We'll go through this two more times. So one more on the left side, and then one more on the right and the left again. And then we'll start to go cool down. So take an inhale breath, we're reaching our left leg up towards the sky. And then exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it back, three like a dog. Exhale, take it through, right uh, to the right elbow. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. I don't know what is happening with my music. Exhale, knee to chest. And then place it down onto the mat. Drop the right heel down, rise for warrior one. Inhale here. And then exhale, release the back heel. Start to tip forward, find that 45 degree angle. You know how to use it so big. And then exhale, oh, oh we're gonna find that warrior three pose, almost forgot. So start to shift all the way to your front foot. Find whatever bolsters you want to use here. And then lift your right heel or your right leg back up. Warrior three. Take a slight micro bend in that left knee. Drop the right hip down so that it's flush with the left. Flex the right foot. Extend through your heel back to the wall behind you. So really engage that right leg. Pull the low belly in. Draw the ribs together. Find lightness in whatever you have your hands on. So I want your fingertips on whatever you have your hands on. Take one more inhale breath here. And then exhale, start to bend into that left knee. We're going to step back with control into warrior two. Open up to the side of the room. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Inhale, start to reach your left arm forward. Find the left elbow to the left knee. Take your right arm up and over to meet the ear. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale out. And now reach that left arm up if you want to. And exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. Inhale three. And then exhale, we're gonna frame our front foot with our hands. We're setting up for side plank. So roll onto the outside edge of your right foot. Step that left um, leg back to stack it on top of the right. You can stay here or take that uh, right knee down. Find side plank on the right side. Take an inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And then exhale, come to plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, low cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Take a big, three big cleansing breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Last breath. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky. Exhale, take your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, take it through to your chest. Knee to your chest, inhale. And exhale, step it through. Drop that left heel down, rise for warrior one. Inhale, breath here. And then exhale, release the back heel. Start to tip forward. Find that 45 degree angle, get your blocks. Start to shift the weight into your front leg. And then reach that left leg up to the ceiling, the left heel. Soft micro bend in the right knee. Flex the left foot. Your fingertips are on whatever bolsters that you need. Inhale, breath. Exhale out. If you want to take it even further, you can take your hands to prayer. One more breath here. And then exhale with control. We're bending into that front knee, right knee, and stepping back into warrior two. Nice. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, start to shift forward. Reach your right arm forward. Place your right elbow on your right knee. Take your left arm up and over to meet your ear. Take an inhale, breath. 
exhale out. Raise that right arm up if you would like. Inhale and exhale. Inhale two. Exhale out. Last breath, inhale. And then exhale, frame your front foot with your hands. We're setting up for side plank, so roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Stack your right uh, leg on top of the left. Reach the right arm to the sky. Inhale, breath one. Exhale out. Inhale two. And exhale out. Last breath, inhale. And then exhale, find plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, low cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left leg to the sky. This is the last time we're doing this. And then exhale, take your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, take it back, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to your right elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, left knee to chest. Take an inhale. And then exhale, step it between your palms. Take that right heel down, find warrior one, left knee forward. Inhale, breath. And exhale, release the back heel. Start to tip forward. Find that 45 degree angle. Find your blocks if you're there, or if you want to take it a little bit further, no blocks this time. We're stepping into warrior three. Making sure that that uh, left knee has a micro bend in it, the right knee is flushed, or the right hip is flushed with the left. Rooting firmly down into the toe mound of your left foot, taking your heel to the right heel to the wall behind you. Pull the low belly and draw the wrists together. One more breath. And then exhale with control, bending into the front knee. We're stepping into warrior two. I'll turn to face you. Take an inhale breath. And then exhale, start to shift your uh, forward, reach your left arm forward, find the left elbow to the left knee, right arm up and over to meet your ear. Take an inhale breath, exhale out. Inhale, reach that left arm forward to meet the right, inhale. Exhale out, inhale two, exhale. Last breath, inhale. And then exhale, frame your front foot with your hands. We're finding side plank on the right side, so drop that outer edge of your right uh, foot down towards the mat, stack your left leg on top, reach the left arm up towards the sky. Inhale one, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. Last breath, inhale. And then exhale, find plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra. And then exhale, this time we're gonna go straight back to child's pose. So take your knees wide, the toes are touching together, your hips are sinking down to your heels, and extend your arms forward. All the way to the top of your mat, see how much length that you can create in the spine. Rest your forehead on the mat or in a block or a pillow. And reconnect with your breath. Feeling the heat that you created in the body. Let's take one more breath here. And then exhale, we're rising into tabletop pose. And this is kind of a funny transition. We're gonna take um, our feet wide, or as wide as our knees are. We're gonna tuck our back toes. We're gonna to start to walk our palms. If, uh, if you have knee problems, <clears throat> I'll show you a different way to enter into this pose. But we're gonna walk our palms back to meet our knees. And we're gonna to start to shift our weight back into our heels. And then come into a Buddha squat. So the Buddha squat is, our feet are facing outwards like this. If you have knee problems, from um, tabletop pose, come in downward facing dog, walk your feet forward, and then sit. If this is really uncomfortable and if your back is sort of curved like this, I want you to take a pillow or some block or some bolster and place it underneath your sit bones so that your spine is long and straight. But if you can sit in this, your hips are open enough, uh, where you don't need that, go for it. And then take your elbows on the inside of your thighs and simultaneously press your elbows to your thighs and your thighs to your elbows. So you're kind of creating this, this opposite resistance. 
Take an inhale breath, find a little bit of length, so reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale, we're just gonna start, if you have a block underneath you, remove it. We're just gonna start to sit and roll back. Okay. So from here, we're gonna lay all the way down to our back, grab a book or a pillow. We're gonna find a supported bridge pose and I want you to have something to place underneath your sacrum. So we're gonna come all the way under our back and have that prop nearby. And then first, let's just reach in opposite directions. So let's, it's like a good morning stretch when you first wake up in bed. So reach your arms all the way up above your head and your toes are pointed down towards the bottom of the room. And then just start to bend the knees, placing the, um, the soles of the feet on the mat about hips width distance apart. We're going to find that whatever prop that you have. And we're going to just lift our, using the strength of our glutes and our, um, using our, the, top of the soles of our feet, just lift your hips up. Take the block or the um, pillow and place it right underneath your sacrum. And I, that's the bony part of like your low back. So it's not your spine, but it's basically right in between like your glute and your, um, the base of your spine. So it's that bony part. So we're finding supported bridge. We did a lot of core work, so what we're gonna do is open up the hip flexors, that psoas muscle that we have right here. So I want you to extend your left leg forward. So the heel is flat on the mat, and your foot is flexed, your left foot is flexed. And if this is enough, if you sort of feel the stretch already, and you're like, whoa, that's really intense, stay here. If you want more, Start to draw the right knee into to the chest and then grab your knee. If you want even more than that, take your right knee towards your right armpit. While you're doing this, I want you to continue to engage that left leg, extend the right heel forward, keeping the left leg as flexed as possible and engaged. That's where you should feel the opening when you're, when you, when you're like extending that left leg even straighter. So take three deep breaths here, inhale through the nose. Exhale out. Inhale two. Exhale. Inhale three. And then exhale, release. Bend both of the knees, soles of the feet onto the mat. Take a cleansing breath here. Inhale through the nose. And out the mouth. Inhale, extend your right leg forward. Drop the right heel down to the mat. Flex the right foot. Stay here, this is enough. If you want more, start to draw that left knee into your chest, grab the knee. If you want a little more, take the left knee towards the left armpit and really extend into that right leg. So the more that you straighten that leg and extend through the heel, the more you should feel this in the right hip flexor. Take three deep breaths here, in through the nose, and exhale. Inhale two. Exhale, last breath, inhale, and then exhale, release, place the soles of the feet flat on the mat. We're going to remove whatever uh, prop you have out of the way, so lift your hips off of the top, just remove it out of the way, extend your legs out straight in front of you, and then extend your arms out up towards uh, the top of the mat. And we're just going to roll like a, uh, gosh, what is this? <laughs> we're going to roll like pizza dough onto our bellies. <laughs> and then just make, like, shift yourself onto your back. And then take your, um, we're going to find sphinx pose. So take your um, forearms of the number 11, similar to how we were before. So your shoulders should be right above your elbows. And then um, press the tops of your feet into the mat. Press the pubic bone into the mat so that your tailbone is drawing down towards your heels. And then um, like somebody is, uh, act, like you are dragging your um, hands toward, like your fingertips and your hands towards your elbows, pull your chest through your shoulders and look straight ahead. Continuing to take that tailbone towards the heels. Sphinx poses here. Take an inhale breath. 
and exhale. If this is enough for you, stay here. If you want a little bit more, a little bit deeper of the back bend, a little bit deeper of a um, abdomen stretch, um, start to take the hands a little bit forward and then straighten the elbows, seal pose. One more deep breath here. If you want it a little bit more, you can walk your hands towards your um, hips. Inhale breath. And exhale. Last breath here. Inhale. And then exhale, release. The, uh, forehead to the mat. Take your elbows out wide to the sides of your mat. Your hands stack on top of each other, palms facing down. Bend the knees and take your heels over your buttocks. And then just start to windshield wiper your legs back and forth. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling out the nose. And then just release the tops of your feet down to the mat. Extend your arms straight out in front of you again. We're rolling like pizza dough back onto our backs. So just roll over. Oh, actually, no. I'm sorry. I have one more thing that I want to do. <laughs> um, on our belly. So stay there. Stay on your belly. I have this really cool twist. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're not on our bellies yet. So we're going to just roll onto our left side to start and come into a fetal position. So um, line up your knees right to your hips and then rest your... Um, now rest your uh, left arm straight out like uh, in front of you here. So this is your left arm on the ground. Um, and make sure there's enough space on either side of you. I have to actually scoot out some of the wall. And then place your right hand on top of your left. Take an inhale breath. Exhale out. Inhale, start to draw an arc, a rainbow with your right hand over, the, over or to the top of the ceiling and then over to the other side of the room and here's a nice juicy supine twist your shoulder might not get all the way there that's okay take an inhale breath here and exhale out inhale two exhale inhale three and exhale Two more breaths, inhale, exhale out, last breath, inhale, and then exhale, start to draw a rainbow, an arc with that right hand again, up towards the ceiling, and then down to meet the left. And then just roll onto your back, and then roll into the fetal position on the other side. I'm going to turn this this side. So you should be on your right side now with your right arm straight out in front of you this way, not up, but straight out in front. And your left palm is uh, right on top of your left hand or your right hand. Make sure your knees are right in line with your hips as well. Take an inhale breath. Exhale out. Inhale, start to draw an arc with that left hand towards the ceiling slowly. And then to the other side of the room, finding a juicy twist. You can um, look up straight to the ceiling, or you can turn your head to uh, face the other side of the room. Take five deep breaths here. Two more breaths. And on your last exhale, start to draw your knees into your chest, roll onto your back. Start to make circles with the knees to massage the low back. And just giving yourself one more squeeze, wrap your arms around your shins, take your to, uh, forehead to your knees, give yourself a really tight squeeze, maybe you rock side to side here. And then exhale, release into your final resting pose, Shavasana. 
Your legs go straight out in front of you. Um, using the top of your head, lift your shoulder blades off of the mat and tuck them underneath you. Your hand, your arms come out to the side, palms facing up. And just start to relax every single inch of your body. Maybe this is a chance to check in with whatever you were feeling earlier in class, the beginning of the class. Any tightnesses, any pain that you were feeling. Noticing if something feels different now than it did before. Maybe our bodies are a little stronger and our minds are a little bit calmer and clearer. Fluttering the eyes gently closed. The mouth is slightly parted. The tongue is removed from the roof of your mouth. You're removing the crease in your brow and your forehead. Relaxing the jaw back towards the floor. Feeling gravity support you onto the mat. Feeling all the benefits of the practice. I recommend that you stay in Shavasana for at least five minutes. I'm going to sign off and leave you here, but I highly recommend staying as long as you need. And I want to thank you for joining me today. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 a.m. Pacific time. And please stay in Shavasana as long as you need. Hey guys.